647 time now for the morning rush. There's an Amber alert out for five year old Kaylani Gonzalez. State police say she was last seen leaving Kirtland Elementary in a black SUV with her grandmother Marianne Garner. This was around four o'clock yesterday afternoon. She was last seen wearing a pink sweater, black pants and white shoes. If you have information on her whereabouts, you're asked to call 911. Roswell community groups and local leaders are trying to return to normal after the historic flooding. The County Flood Commission is focusing on clearing drainage channels and rebuilding flood control structures like berm and levees that help drain water around Roswell. Crews are now focused on doing repairs quickly to prepare for future rains. Meanwhile, the Roswell School District is working to get kids back into the classroom. Superintendent Brian Luck says this weekend's storm did not damage any of the schools, but the same cannot be said for the district's buses. Cleanup efforts are underway, but there's still concerns over whether those buses are safe to operate. Brian. Mostly dry, warming up, a chilly start, and warming up to 77 in Albuquerque today. A little bit breezy, but slightly breezier later tomorrow. There will be a little bit of a pattern change later this week. Police in Roswell are investigating a homicide after a man was shot to death. Officers found 46 year old Joseph Russell lying in the street near the intersection of Orchard Avenue and East 3rd. Russell died at the hospital. Anyone who may have information is asked to call the Roswell Police Department. A final report by Albuquerque Police says a Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy is partly to blame for a deadly crash. Deputy Brian Lastly claimed Alexandria Gerard hit her brakes during a pursuit, causing him to rear end her. Investigators say lastly it was driving 70 miles per hour in a 25 zone, which meets the definition of reckless driving. The state's tourism department is hoping to reach more international visitors in the next fiscal year. In its recent budget proposal, the department is asking for a more than 3% increase in its 2026 fiscal year budget. The plans include placing advertisements in Munich and London as part of its spring and summer campaign. Ryan. And dry air moving in wind. southwesterly winds tomorrow. We'll be warming up today and tomorrow. Look at these temperatures, 60s, 70s, 80s, even low 90s in the Pecos River Valley. But what happens Thursday night to Friday? A cold front will come through, but mostly dry air will persist. A prominent Knob Hill restaurant is officially closed for good and two others will be doing the same in the coming weeks. Span of 24 hours, O'Neill's, Salt and Board and Slice Parlor all announced on social media they will be closing. O'Neill's on Central will close November 3rd, while Slice, Slice Parlor is officially closed. Salt and Board is closing this Saturday. New Mexico continues to be front and center in the quest to understand unidentified flying objects. A metro area school is now the new home of the National UFO Historical Records Center. The center houses magazines, periodicals, case files, and even military memorabilia dating back to the 20s. One Albuquerque girl whose dream centers around a popular game show will soon be seeing it live. The family of a young girl named Phoebe says her love of a show Price is Right has kept her spirits up through three open heart surgeries. Make-A-Wish teamed up with New Mexico tech company Holman's to create the game show here. Holman's is also paying to send Phoebe and her family to a taping of the show as well. Ryan. And taking a look at traffic, no major accidents or slowdowns to report as of now. And taking a look at the big eye right now, we do notice that there are some cars moving along the interstates, but generally, despite the uptick in coverage of cars, no major accidents or slowdowns. We'll have more traffic updates throughout the rest of the morning. And Malmo, Sweden, a world's first is taking place. Lining up alongside the Malmo Symphony Orchestra is a robotic cellist. The joint performance of Swedish composer Jacob Mulrod's piece entitled Veer was written specifically for the robot. Mulrod said the experiment is not about replacing human, mu human musicians with a robot, but about gaining new insights into the creative process. And now it's time for the five facts. And at number five, New Mexico continues to be front and center in the quest to understand unidentified flying objects. A metro area school is now the new home of the National UFO Historical Records Center. Martin Luther Elementary School in Rio Rancho will host, will host thousands of documents about the aerial phenomena. The center houses magazines, periodicals, case files, and even military memorabilia, some dating back to the 1920s. The space will serve as a research center, center available to the public by appointment. At number four, the state's tourism department is hoping to reach more international visitors in the next fiscal year. In its recent budget proposal, the department is asking for more than 3% increase in its 2026 fiscal year budget. The plans include placing advertisements in Munich and London as part of its spring and summer campaign. 
Those ads would be centered on the Route 66 Centennial scheduled for 2026. And at number three, we're going to be warming up. A bit of a chilly start, but warm enough that even the northern mountain snow will start to melt even more. Some 80s really starting to pop up across our viewing area today. Very sunny, not too breezy. A little bit breezier tomorrow. We're going to see even higher temperatures, especially in the mountains. Not much precipitation ahead, but tomorrow night into Friday, a weak backdoor front moves on through, briefly cooling off on Friday. And number two, a final report by Albuquerque police says a Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy is partly to blame for a deadly crash. Back in August, Deputy Ryan Lastly claimed he was trying to catch up with the car he had already tried pulling over. He says the driver, Alexandria Gerard, hit her brakes, causing him to rear end her. That's when her car propelled into a wall, killing her. According to APD, Lastly was driving 70 miles per hour in a 25 zone, which meets the definition for reckless driving. And at number one, Roswell community groups and local leaders are trying to return to normal after the historic flooding. The County Flood Commission is focusing on clearing drainage channels and rebuilding flood control structures like berm and levees that help drain water around Roswell. Officials say the flood control berm that protects the south side of Roswell was not breached and that flood waters washed over the top, eroding the berm in some areas. Crews are now focused on doing repairs quickly to prepare for future rains.